This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2006 Ford F-350 Crew Cab. Dual rear wheel, obviously. It's a 6 so turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. Uh, it's an XL, but it's got everything that an XLT has except carpet. It's got uh, power windows, power door locks, cruise tilt, and cloth seats, but it's got a vinyl floor, which is good. <laughs> They should make the XLTs like that. Anyway, uh, we uh, bought it directly from a uh, new car dealer. It was uh, Finley uh, GM uh, C in uh, Prescott, Arizona. And it was a trade into them. We bought it, we brought it here. And this is what my uh, guy's inspection looks like. Runs, drives, looks great. Apparently it had a leaky EGR cooler. Whenever it has, a, not an EGR cooler, a leaky, leaky Ford oil cooler. Whenever they have a leaky oil cooler, there's no reason not to do the, the bulletproof EGR cooler as well, because you're got to take all that stuff off and it's right there. So we do that. So now it's got a new bulletproof EGR cooler, new Ford oil cooler, new IPR, obviously with Rotella oil and filter. It's also got a new EGR valve. Um, the passenger side glow plugs and harness are new. Um, we repaired a tear on the drive on the edge of the driver's seat cushion and we sent it the detail nice nice truck Looks great um, runs great. I'm gonna walk around this thing. I will point at stuff Cosmetically that you might want to look at closer in the photo gallery if you'd like um, Then I will uh, Start it we'll go under the hood take off the oil cap look at blow by um, I'll show you the Carfax on the truck We'll try all the windows and locks and everything, uh, and then we'll go on a drive. And I'll explain to you how this all works. It's very simple. Um, the point of these videos is never to sell the vehicle, all right? Just to make sure that whatever information we have, you have um, everything, good and bad, okay? Mostly, most important is that you have the bad news, because the good news sort of speaks for itself. The bad news, um, you have to be told. And obviously, at brick and mortar places, they can't do that because only one person in a month might hop in this truck. So they got to sell it, okay? And uh, so they're not going to help you. They're not going to say, hey, look at this. You know, a little bit of fading paint on the top of the wheel well. A little bit of, that's eh, not really cracks, it's just pretty much paint. A little bit of touch-up paint would be all right there. Um, anyway, uh, so... If I see something wrong, if I feel something wrong when we're driving it, um, I will tell you, all right? That's how we roll. That way it doesn't end up in Minnesota or the Caribbean or wherever it ends up with somebody pissed off. That ain't working, all right? We don't have to do that. The right person can end up with this truck, okay? Um, if we do this correctly, that's what will happen. If we BS, that's not going to happen. Um, so that's how we roll, all right? definitely somebody out here who's fine with whatever's right and with whatever's wrong as long as we make sure they know they know what's wrong now there's very little wrong here <laughs> but i will point it out if i see it 149,616 miles all right get the air conditioning going today is a uh, 108 degrees today okay um, I guess we're going for the record today. I guess the record is a 107. We're going to go for the record. And our monsoon season has just sucked. We had under an inch of rain so far. All right. There's your Ford stamp here. So you know you have an original fender. Ford stamp on the core support. Stickers where they belong. Ford stamp here. Ford stamp here. Should be another one right there. There is. blow by at all it's all very good news down here all right let me show you the Carfax real quick all right so here's the Carfax history offensive uh, events affecting this vehicle's value um, basically they blend the Kelly Blue Book and the vehicle's history they come with a value of 17.8 uh, Carfax does there's your VIN, no accidents reported, no damage reported, uh, no major title problems reported, which obviously is great. So he was born in Riverside, California. 
and then it moved to Vegas. Vegas is probably the best place for a vehicle to come from. There's always, there's very little off-roading there, so trucks don't get hammered off-road. Uh, they don't really allow it, and there's nowhere to go anyway, except onto hard pan desert. <laughs> so, I don't think people really enjoy camping on rock. So that's what happens. Yeah, so you got cloth seats. The only thing that's really XL is the is the uh, floor, which I like. I would prefer a vinyl floor. Much easier to maintain. In fact, this thing was probably ordered like that. And it's got a bench seat in the back, which is also unusual. This guy probably, I don't know. Huh. Don't see that very often. Just a straight bench. That's XL. Told that this thing just came back from detail and that I'm gonna get a wet butt. So I'm gonna be putting that floor mat on the seat to avoid that. More locks. Mirror out, in, up, down, other side. Out, in, up, down. Let's see what else we got going on here. Ooh, that's about, oh, we have a tilt wheel. There you go. Oh, air conditioning. Thank you. God. There's your radio. Awfully you see an aftermarket radio with a USB port here. Um, what else? Let's see. Boom boom. Nice truck, really nice truck. And the air conditioning, I can assure you, is blowing cold, because if it wasn't, I wouldn't be in it. All right, let's see. Tow, on, and off, all right? I'll put it in neutral, go to four low. Low range, four by four, all right? Go to drive. That's drive, that's in four low. That's definitely four low. Reverse. All right, neutral. Now we're gonna go to four high. Low range will go away, which it just did. Drive. And reverse and four high. Perfect. Neutral. Now let's go to two wheel drive. All right, now we got a cement truck in my way over here. So we're gonna go right, which I never do in videos. Um, all right. This is how it works. If you come to Tucson to drive this truck home, uh, buy a trailer on the way and then uh, <laughs> tow it home. This thing's a big boy. Yeah, this is a big boy and it runs great. Um, anyway, um, if you come to Tucson and drive it home, you will pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is. Could be zero, could be 10. Whatever your state tax rate is is what you'll pay for state tax. Plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. Very simple. If you pay for this truck um, by wire and ship out of state, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. There'll be no tax, no dock fee, nothing, okay? Uh, once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, sign it off to you, we will scan it in your online file and we will mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. Um, you will have the vehicle shipped to you, the title will already be in your mailbox before the shipper arrives with this truck. Once the uh, truck arrives by your shipper, you'll just take the title you already have in the truck and go get plates. It's very simple. If you need help with shipping, let us know at the beginning of the transaction. Um, we can give you phone numbers to call or we can do it for you. Uh, we can roll the price of the shipping into your loan. Um, whatever you need to do, we can help, okay? A lot of our customers have bought many, many vehicles from us and they're very good at shipping so they don't need our help at all. And that could be you or it could not be you, but it's not a problem, let us know early, okay? Um, what else? Uh, deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. So 
so please make sure you get your deposit in. This is a new, new, brand new bulletproof EGR cooler, Ford oil cooler, all the stuff I said goes along with it. Um, that makes this truck quite a bit more valuable, okay? If you guys were to do all that work on your own at retail, 5,500, six grand, easily, okay? Um, this motor is solid, real solid, um, and people will know that. People go to our site to look for these trucks, especially when we bulletproof them. Right now we're on a roll of bulletproofing trucks because they keep showing up with leaky oil coolers. All right, so a leaky oil cooler is the uh, golden ticket to a bulletproof in our place. Um, anyway, uh, make sure you get that deposit in. Last part of every video, I say the same thing every single time. We don't have sales, we don't have bottled water with our name on it, we don't have a lounge to hang out in, we don't have an att attendant serving scones and lattes. Um, we don't have a game room. We don't have fountains out front. We don't have the mall next door. Um, and that's great. That means you're not paying for any of that crap like you are at the auto mall. We're about one light away from the auto mall here. And at the auto mall, uh, they definitely add for, for this truck for that stuff, for any vehicle they sell. Um, this truck will be two or $3,000 more there so that you can uh, experience um, the lattes and the bottled water and the fountains, okay? We don't have to do that because we have three people who work with us, me, my brother, and our mechanic. That's it, all right? Uh, we keep the price way down doing that. Um, we have a nice industrial area, which you just saw, uh, razor wire, night vision cameras, um, cops all over the place at night chasing meth heads around. Um, that's what we do, okay? Um, so we don't have to pay for much, all right? And so we move that saving on to you. We don't have room either. To store vehicles. Uh, lately I've been buying a lot of big big trucks, 450s, 550s, 350s, and there's only so much space for those. Uh, one of these trucks takes up two to three car spaces. So my brother's pricing them, you know, not only do we not have all those extras to pay for, um, but uh, my brother also knows that we need space. So he's selling these things cheaper than we should uh, just to get space. Uh, I just bought a 450 in Dallas today. It'll be here tomorrow and we need the space. So, anyhow, uh, bottom line also is that at the auto mall, which is right here, it's down that road and up here, um, they know if they sold you this truck and it broke that you'd come in and say, fix our truck. Um, and they would because they've got a ton of your money so they can afford to. Uh, and if they don't feel like it, they'll just give your money back and sell this truck to somebody else. That's how they roll. Well, we're telling you right now, we are not fixing anything on this truck ever, nothing. We're not writing a check for anything ever. Um, now, does it need anything? Will it need anything? Uh, I drive these things for a living. Uh, I've driven thousands of 6.0s, and the bad ones don't make it to our uh, uh, webpage, all right? Uh, this one's a really good one. I love the feel of it right now. Um, I, You know, you get your little spider senses. This one's a good one, really good spider senses here. Um, I like this truck a lot. Um, but nonetheless, you don't know when a window motor is going to take a crap or an injector is going to say, you know, I want to be funky. Um, we're putting a blue blue uh, uh, 06 on right now that decided that it was going to throw a fit before we put it online and have an injector. So we had to do an injector in it. Um, but uh, right now, this thing's the readings are great on it. So I wouldn't expect that. But you never know. We like to tell people how we operate so that there's no drama, zero drama. We don't need the drama. We need you to uh, go through our ad, watch this video, look at the Carfax, um, go through the photo gallery, uh, and then uh, understand the rules, okay? Um, personally, if I needed something to pull a truck with, this would be a trailer, truck, whatever. This would be the one. Why? Because I love vinyl floors in big trucks because there's always a mess. Um, white is the best color for that. Um, it hides the dirt, um, and the air is blowing cold, it's running great, um, yeah, this is a nice truck. It's not so fancy, I guess if you need like leather and navigation and all that stuff, it's not for you, but if you just need a really good truck, this would be it. Anyway, I think, uh, let me see how much time I left on this video, yikes, yellow light, 1446, I can drive, I can go to 1738. So I'm just gonna keep driving it and shut up.
lunchtime. You can see El Nene right there. They got the best Sonoran hot dogs ever. It might be time to go there. That'll be my next stop here. about it. I'm going to go park and let Dennis take photos. Thank you for your time.